All right, I'm here with Monty McCoy. He is about to get his very first Robo Taxi ride. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get into the vehicle. If you'd like, you can get into the uh, passenger side. That way you can get the best view of the, uh, the steering wheel and nobody in there. So what do you think about this first opportunity, Monty? You know, it's, I would have done it in San Francisco. I am so stoked about this. I want to see how this thing does that is different than what is happening in my car. So I just, I just want to experience the whole thing. All right, well, let's get in and let's give it a shot. Thank you. Hey, hey. Okay, Monty, let's get us going. You have the privilege of hitting the button. All right. So just press. Go. All right. And we are off. There was, there was a, um, there was a lot of enthusiasm for what Tesla was doing when I was there. I could find that on the streets, talk to people about Tesla, you know, e even in 16 to 18. I told, I, I had the T-shirt that said my other car is my, my other car is a reservation. So yeah. I would have people stop me because they would see the sexy lineup on there and they would want to know what what was I talking about. Okay, and it uh, directed us right to the vehicle, and we're going to go in and go for the second ride. Yeah. All right, we're in the RoboTaxi. I'm with Monty. You came out from California? Right, yeah, and just outside of uh, Sacramento is where oh, I started. Kind of ironic, since they just now opened up the RoboTaxi service around your area. Yeah, yeah, there was a rumor. So I had went, I'd gone down to the X takeover event in San Mateo and the rumor was that it was going to open up that day uh, or at least Saturday. At least mm. that's what was online. So I kind of hoped I would catch it there, but I knew I was going to get it here. So it well, was awesome. Fine. So what brings you here to try to robo taxi? What's the interest level for you? Well, I'm super pumped about this whole new, you know, phase of just automation or uh, automation autonomy in driving. Um, I, I think this is the direction that we should be going if we're going to um, uh, overcome some of our, you know, challenges with respect to resource management and all that. Um, but the main reason I'm here is because I knew I'd be passing through and I wanted to see if I could get some updates from you and possibly Stefan, uh, S.E. Robinson, and mm. uh, just just get some good, you know, input and experience here because my primary goal of this trip is I'm on my way to North Carolina mm. to uh, take my dad on his regular routes in the county. He's having some trouble with, uh, with some, um, um, you know, he's having a little bit of trouble and I'm afraid that he's going to lose his confidence and ability to uh, be mobile, and I want to change that for him. So I'm going to give him robo taxi rides until uh, um, until he's comfortable, and then we'll see about getting him a, getting him a car. Well, awesome. Now, does he have any experience with full self driving autonomy or anything? Or are you going to be introducing this to him? Uh, he actually, I had my my other. Tesla, my original Model 3, I drove cross country and I took him in the car for uh, enhanced autopilot. Mm -hmm. That was before uh, the beta had started up, so I didn't have full self-driving then. But he has experienced enhanced autopilot and uh, he was very impressed with that. And he's always been tech forward in terms of his thinking. Um, and he just likes new stuff like I do. Okay, well that's really cool. That's a kind of a common story that I hear as uh, people are realizing that uh, full self-driving autonomy, the robo taxi service could help a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, well that's my, that's my goal and I hope to be able to report on that on my uh, feed and you know, I hope people are interested in what I have to say. All right, well this is, truth be told, this is your second ride. We uh, did the first one just so you could experience it uh, without me uh, bugging you with a bunch of video, but <laughs> Now that you've had two, we've been driving around Austin. We went over to the University of Texas. We're heading downtown. What is your actual assessment of the RoboTaxi? I think it is uh, so much smoother than um, some of the 
some of the uh, experiences I've had with FSD, although rare, uh, but this one is just seems very locked in and solid. So I love it. Okay. I absolutely love it. So what do you think about uh, as they continue to evolve the service, they just uh, added in the dynamic charging. So it's no longer just a flat rate. What do you think about that? Um, yeah, I think you need to be able to measure and give people some, um, you know, some cost effectiveness. And so by chopping up and, and just giving people uh, charges based on the actual distance is the only way to go. So I, I'm fully behind that. I thought maybe he was going to do, you know, 420 or 690 standard rate, you know, mm -hmm. for every ride. But uh, but that would have that was funny to start out with. But I think the uh, the, the metered rides with distance, that's the way to go. Yeah, I think that's it has to be that way because as they continue to try to roll this out and if it scales the way that yeah. Tesla wants it to scale, yeah. uh, you're going to have rides everything from a half a mile in distance all the way up to 50, 60 miles and they can't be the same cost. No, they can't. I mean, if you look at the new, you know, San Jose territory, I mean, that's that distance alone is it's an 80 or 90 dollar um, Uber ride mm -hmm. already, so you know that there's room in there for uh, for a service like Robo Taxi. Okay, well, you know, talking about expansion, uh, one of the cool things is, as far as I can tell, with the database of the license plates, the vehicle that we're in is actually a, an addition, and this kind of goes along with what I heard about uh, yeah. increasing the vehicle fleet, which is a necessary step as they continue to expand the service, not only here in Austin but around the world. Yeah, it was exciting for me to see that you checked your 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 uh, spreadsheet and this one wasn't on it. So yeah, I can say I was there when. Yeah. So, uh, any last minute thoughts about the experience you're having with Robo Taxi? Uh, maybe something for the team or for people who are considering trying this out. I would say if you have access to this service anywhere, it is worth the ride to go and experience it. If, uh, if you live in the area and you uh, are looking for an alternative for Uber or some other type of ride share, um, RoboTaxi is definitely waiting for that. And I think it's uh, gonna be, it's gonna be commercial prime time very soon. All right, well, thank you, Monty, for your thoughts and for trying out RoboTaxi and uh, sharing with everybody. Absolutely, thank you, Joe. And graciously coming here and being able to provide your time. I know you've been very busy since last week <laughs> going, staying here. I mean, we were talking and chatting and you ended up in San Francisco and mm -hmm. then I, I don't know where all you've been since, but I know you've been very busy and I'm very appreciative of your time today. So thank you. No problem.